Hello everyone and welcome to VizRT Tuesday Tutorials. My name is Richard Evans. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Now today I want to continue with the fundamentals of the TriCaster vision, taking a look at the output configuration panel, which is where you would go to say a setup what outputs go to which hardware output connections, uh, your different NDI mix outputs, streaming sources, etc. And if you're a longtime TriCaster user, there are a few little differences between uh, the previous TriCasters that will help make your life in video production land much, much easier. So, let me show you how it's done, son. All right, all right, all right. So, I am on my TriCaster Vision interface, and let's take a look at the output configuration tab. All right, so to do that, we'll go over to our program window and you'll see this little gear icon here. Let's go ahead and click on that. Click the right button, there we go. All right, so we'll go to the output tab here. All right, and here's where things are going to be uh, a little different from uh, a previous TriCaster iterations, but I'll go through and show you those, okay? So uh, first thing, your sources here, again, you're gonna have eight different mix outputs, which can be uh, corresponding to say the different connectors, uh, the SDI connections on the system, uh, if you have your uh, TriCaster Vision configured that way. Um, but then let's, you also have options for your, the three different streaming encoder, encoders, and then also the app return, which is where uh, you would configure, say, Live Call Connect to do a remote Teams call, uh, uh, Zoom calls, things like that, okay? So let's go through, and none of these are gonna change, but we'll go to the video side and click down here. So again, you can send your program in preview, but then you can also send out individual inputs, uh, your media players, your mix effects, buffers, et cetera. Now, uh, if you're an, a previous TriCaster user, you will see that there is no longer a program clean option because we have put that over here. All right, so now you have the ability to uh, uh, either record your program with all of your uh, uh, different downstream keyers on there, or you can turn specific ones off, okay? So let's say that you have uh, a particular show that has like closed captioning, for example, or you want to make sure that it's watermarked, but you don't want to have the lower third show up because you want to use that for post-production, etc. This is where you can go through and turn those off individually. So instead of being able to just record your uh, program or the program without any downstream keyers, now you can uh, go through and determine which downstream keyers you want to actually have uh, printed onto those different recordings. So that's pretty cool. All right, so now we also have options here uh, for your audio sources. If we click this drop down, uh, this will be fairly standard. Uh, your master outputs uh, or your auxiliaries, or you can assign a specific uh, input that's coming in as the audio source. And here's where it gets interesting. On the format side of things, if you click on that, not only can you uh, record your uh, show in uh, different formats, like say uh, 720 or you know 1080, et cetera, but then you can also change the recording frame rates in here as well. So before you were kind of limited to just either uh, the session type, uh, 1080, 4K, 720, all the way down to 4, uh, uh, 4 by 3, et cetera, uh, but now you can do the uh, specific frame rates here, which I think is awesome. All right, and then the connectors here, of course, uh, you click on these, and my particular uh, TriCaster Vision is set up with uh, four different outputs right now, so outputs uh, A through A8, uh, et cetera. So that's how you would uh, send a signal out uh, via a hardware option, and then also the transform, uh, which again, you can uh, transform, like uh, send this out via uh, flipping it, turning it on its side, et cetera, or then show the different sections, et cetera. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, so we have this set up here as far as our mix outputs. Uh, I'm gonna kind of leave these the way they are at the moment, but let's go to the record tab because I wanna show you these uh, different options here. All right, so uh, I'm just gonna record mix number one and mix number two. Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll go to the output side of things. And what I'm now gonna do is I'm going to have my mix number one, just go ahead and record that the way it is with all my downstream keyers on it. But then on my mix number two, I'm going to turn off my downstream keyer number two, like so. Okay, cool. All right, so let's go ahead and bring up my uh, downstream keyers. My downstream keyer number one is just my little cool animated Viz Flowix icon that I love. Uh, and then also a little VizRT bug up here at the top. Okay, so let's go through now and I'll just hit record just for a few seconds. Do, 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 do. 
All right, five seconds should be enough. So let's stop that. All right, now let's go ahead and I'm going to, uh, let's go to DDR1 and I'm gonna put what we just recorded in there, okay? So let me go ahead and turn these off for the time being and let's go ahead and bring in those files. So you'll see I have recorded my mix number one and mix number two in here respectively, okay? Oop, they're in there. So let's go ahead and play the one, the mix number one, which I, again, I said had just the, uh, uh, with all the downstream keyers on. And cool, that looks about right. And now let's go to the next one, mix number two, which I recorded with uh, my downstream keyer number two turned off and go there. And boom, you'll see there my BizRT logo, which was on downstream gear number two, is gone. So some really cool things you can do with this. We have changed things around a little bit so you can customize your different workflows and the different uh, outputs that you have and recording capabilities. So some really fun stuff on the TriCaster Vision. There's a lot more tutorials that are going to be coming up uh, in the next couple of months. Uh, so stick around. Make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel at youtube.com slash visionsrt official. And... Of course, have some fun. Woo! There you have it, another cool updated feature that is vital to a live video production workflow from the TriCaster Vision. Now for more tutorial videos like this one, be sure to subscribe to the VizRT YouTube channel at youtube.com slash VizRT official. And for formalized VizRT uh, product training, sign up for Viz University available at vizrt.com slash community slash viz dash university. And you can find more information about VizRT products like the TriCaster Vision and some of our services by contacting your local VizRT partner or check out our website, vizrt.com. And as always, if you are posting your work using VizRT products on social media, hey, make sure that you tag us using the hashtags VizRT, TriCaster, or TriCaster Vision. Now, I see all these posts. Love, love it all. Keep it coming. And thank you again for watching, and I'll see you again real soon for another episode of VizRT Tuesday Tutorials.